Give me now. Let us do November 2023. I'll start with question one. It is about assets management as well as red. Now we have information relating to Patel Power. We have Krisha Patel owns Patel Power. They are an established South African business that imports alternative energy components from an international manufacturer, which is Zan Zaka. The 2022-2023 scheduled load shedding has dramatically increased the demand for their Wi-Fi UPS, which is uninterrupted power supply units. They use periodic inventory system for all stock. They have a fleet of six delivery vehicles. They are vet registered on the invoice basis method. Well, we'll discuss that when we get to to bed. Uh, for now, the most important part is, especially for one day, will be the periodic inventory system. Now, that tells you how you calculate cost of sales. So to calculate cost of sales, you'll take your opening plus purchases, minus returns, and subtract your trips. Now, the inventory system says that Patel Power values their stock using weighted average method. And I'll highlight that. For this one, you needed to know the weighted average method formula. We will discuss it shortly. Then they say that the UPS unit consists of one component and is bought and sold as a single unit. The stock records for the commission here and the 28th of May 2023. So they gave us all of these. And what we have there is the opening balance we get our purchases. Now we have the number of sets for opening as well as purchases. We also have our cost per unit as well as the total. Now to get that 975,000, they must have taken the number of units, which is 3,000 units. Multiply that by 325. It should give us the number of units there, and the number of units will be, I mean, the value, the total cost will be like uh, 975. Basically, the total cost here as just the cost price of buying those units. They didn't say anything about transportation costs or any directly attributable costs. And you will notice that they are 1,500 units that were gifted in January 2023, but there's no value for them. The reason why there's no value for them is because we got them as a gift. Now, that is interesting, I must say. Um, let me just read further. They say the following information was extracted from the stock records and um, they sold, basically we sold 42,150 units during the year at 595 each and 2,000 units were returned in October is the European Park Point. Zang Zappa accepted the return. That is very, very important. 
back. To so they were returned back to the supplier and uh, were returned in October. So if they were returned in October, the question is when were they purchased? So if they were returned in October, it means they were purchased. I don't know if you can say anything about what's been returned in October. Now, they have They're basically not saying anything. However, in the previous papers, these papers, as you notice, um, are always emphasized to my last year's grade 12, and I emphasized it to my last year's grade 12. You can tell the way it's so we just change it then. Like when I see that in quotes, I, I remember there was a question about, um, I think it was about spinners. Uh, I don't know which paper it was, but they are so similar. They are so silly. That's why I always say to my kids, just to use your past papers as the guides. And if you use your past papers as the guides, I shall remember that. Um, okay, so the cost of these 3,000 units, it will, it will be that 425. That will be the cost of those 2,000 units turn the cost of the block. Okay. I always look if they were returned in October. I look at them for October. If there are any purchases in there, it makes sense that guys, for you to return because normally they say it's returning in two weeks. Sometimes they can get my deal buying them in the COVID and it's in there. So, okay, something like that. So, that. so in this case, it is going to be like 50 days for us to return, right? And then they say Zing Zang gifted 1,500 units as they became. A preferred customer base on their purchasing. So we've been buying from these people quite a lot, and they decided to give us uh, 1,500 units. Please know that those 1,500 units, you are going to include them to the number of purchases, right? So, number of units purchased will be added, and their value must also be added to the rent value of your purchases. But when you add it to the rent value of your purchases, the rent value of these 1,500 units will be zero. It's like we bought them, but at zero amount. And ultimately, what this will do is to reduce the weighted average cost per unit. So when you, if there is like a discount in a way, they're reducing your purchase price because you've been purchasing so much, instead of them giving you a discount, they're Gifting you units, which is the same as giving you discount because it will reduce the weighted average cost of each unit. All right. And then they gave us the same 1,500. It was paid for coverage on purchases. So that one I'm going to add it to, to my cost of purchases. Uh, and then they said on the 30th of December, Krisha discovered that an employee work. Medmark had been scheming the UPS list throughout the year. She subsequently dismissed the employee value of the loss calculator and weighted average rate of was deemed to be of a material nature. The claim for the loss was not was Guys, I need you to check a paper. I swear I did a paper like this. I remember I even used one of my students. Um, I think I used my guest junior. Um, and I guess Junius took the spinners, and because he is spinning cars, he decided to take those spinners to modify. It was about the modification or so on, but there's a question similar to this, exactly similar to this. Um, it's just that they changed the names, and obviously, the scenario, anyway. Um to check solutions to this video, please check out the next video. To check out the next video to check solutions to this video. And uh, just see if we can do it quickly. Let's calculate the rented average cost of opening. So basically, you will take your total cost of purchases, which is the cost of opening stock of your purchases, the daily, 
and the edge of page is the edge of page 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 purchases and returns. Now that courage and purchases won't have the number. In essence, all I'm going to do, these will be my numbers. So this will be my number. I'm going to add it with that. And then I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to add the courage on purchases. And the courage on purchases, I'm going to add that in. Okay. And the, that is my numerator. The denominator. The denominator will be these ones here. So these will be the denominator. 3,000 plus 8,000 plus 1,000 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 and the value of the returns will be those 2,000 units, but you are going to multiply them by 425, which is the cost per unit. And that also was September because October is after September. You got it. All right. And when I write this down, this is good. And you will notice that it's basically that 3,000 plus 8,000 plus 1,000, which is the gifted units, and then you subtract the returns, which was 2,000. And above, you have to find the 2,000 units, and it gave you 300, I still remember this, 330. Did this last year, just before I went to the market. Compare this to the solutions. I don't know this question. Um, I actually know about and um, these are the answers that we will get, right? That's what we get. When it comes to determine the number of units that we store in general, uh, guys, this we have done so perhaps, okay. Um, so basically, you have to take the closing stock. You have to check the closing stock. And then you will notice that, let me just go straight to it. They, did they give us the value of our closing stock here? No, they didn't. Um, oh, yes, they did. They did. So they gave us the value of our closing stock. So they gave us the value of our closing stock, which is. 8,200, um, this is all, I hope I'm getting everything right, but if I make a second number, it's just now probably I got something wrong, and then I put it together, so oh, this was awesome. if I don't, don't see a certain column, it's just not it's okay. So they gave us the closing stock, which is 8,200. We're going to calculate our own closing stock, guys. Calculate your own closing stock. You're given the opening number of units, you're given the purchases, you're given the returns, you're given how many units were sold. So it's easy for you to calculate the value of your closing stock. And to calculate the value of closing stock, you're going to take opening number of units, opening number of stock, which is 3,000, and then you add your purchases, which was 48,000, I think, and then you're going to add even the gift, because it's part of your stock, then you subtract the returns. And then whatever you get, that will be your stock available to be sold. Please check out videos, guys. I did videos on inventory. You, this is this will give you units available to be sold. So when you add all of these up, they will give you units available to be sold. And then you subtract the ones that were actually sold, which is forty-two thousand one hundred fifty, and this will give you eight thousand three hundred. And then this is the value of your closing stock according to your calculation. But according to what they gave you, they said the value of your closing stock should be 8,200. And when you subtract these two, it means that um, the actual number of units they have on hand is less than what we should have on hand. So if the difference is what is missing, which is all stolen, and that will be 
I'll pack it here for now. And if you want to, that is because I'm seeing one of my YouTube subscribers. Um, extra lessons. Yeah, thank you, Dan. Compared to this, and also so this question over here, as well as this. Hopefully, by the time I do the lecture today, if it's out, well, yeah, it should be out. Even if it's not that I could do it on it. So, and yeah, I'll just leave it here for now. So, I'll just leave it here for now. If you want to answer those questions, you can answer the first time. But be on the lookout for the video uh, to finish this one off. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on.